today I'm going to be doing the shortest back to school haul y'all have ever seen. Okay? You got a fetish for my love. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and my name is Chris Darko. Christine Darko, choose what you want. Today I'm going to be doing the shortest back to school haul y'all have ever seen. Okay? So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Gotta finish these first. Mm. Mm. I'm actually filming this video super late because... Today was my first day of school. <laughs> I didn't finish my back to school shopping until like five minutes ago. I did most of my back to school shopping at Staples and the first thing I got was their standard binder. It's black, one and a half inch because I am taking a lot of high maintenance courses or courses that have a lot of workload, I believe, throughout the school year. I go to a semester at school, so I should be using two binders, but I think I might try and use one. I'm not a minimalist, so it's very hard for me to stuff all my stuff in one small, tiny space. Like, this isn't a lot of space for me. Last year, I had three of these binders found. Three of them. Can you imagine how big my bag looked? Especially when I was running late for the bus. I look like a crumb running. <laughs> Dead. Okay. So yeah, I got one of these, and if push comes to shove, I will use one of my old binders from last year. Black, I'm trying to do a black and white theme this year, but I think I totally forgot when I went back to school shopping like five minutes ago, like I said. The next thing I got was a ruler from Staples. It's only 15 centimeters, I believe, yeah. This was like $1.30, it wasn't bad. I just want a short, ruler that I can fit in my pencil case because my pencil case is like this big. I would show you guys a picture but kind of lazy. Um, so the next thing I got was this uh, Pentel lead refills. 0.5 I believe. Yeah 0.5. <laughs> Makeup guru now. Or no stationary guru. Let's go. That should be a thing. Um, I like 0 0.5 lead because it's thin and I like how sharp it writes. I don't know, sometimes 0 0.7 lead looks too thick to me or it doesn't write hard enough. It depends what kind of pencil you use, to be honest, and what lead. The next thing I got was two erasers from Staples. This was 84 cents, I think. The standard erasers. I normally don't like these erasers because there's nothing wrong with one wrong with them I just don't like them yeah but I got it because they were cheap um the next thing I got still from Staples is the clear point pencils yo these are my holy grail pencils I got them last year and I have been in love with them from time so I got one I believe one is black and one is like a light purple and the next thing I got from Staples were the Staples Postscript pencils. These are my all-time favorite mechanical pencils after the clear point ones, okay? Don't get it twisted because the Postscript pencils are amazing. Um, they just feel nice to touch and they write really well. It comes with three sticks of lead inside, I believe. It feels so nice. This is the 0 0.7 one. Um, so my sister, she got 0 0.5 ones and they're like gray, black, um, some dark red, really nice colors. So we decided that we're just gonna split them between each other. I'm not sure where she put them, but yo, we be splitting that ish so I can have all the colors of the rainbow. That kind of defeats my black and white theme, but it's okay. I'd rather be happy while writing than shady while writing because white's black and white are shades, right? Right. The next thing I got from Staples is pencil crayons. The next thing I got from Staples was five star refill paper with the reinforced um, lining. I only got one pack because your girl does not have money for this, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna use it on reports. Just reports, Christine. Just reports, okay? Um, 
because I got, for the next thing that I'm about to show you, it'll make sense why I'm only using this for reports. This was like $6. Oh no, it was five, it was five. I should have gotten a second pack, but do I really need more than 100 sheets for reports? No. The next thing I got was, again, a five-star notebook, but this one is a quad-ruled notebook, so it has quad-ruled paper in it. And then, me trying to be a minimalist this year, I got a five-subject notebook, so I can use it for all my subjects. Notice how it's black. It's black. Okay, y'all. like my face okay no no okay and the next thing i got from staples again i got a three subject one i got a three subject notebook because i thought i'll have eight courses right but oh throughout the entire year but i know that some courses will feed into like the other space the other um sections so i decided i'm gonna use this for second semester for bio, oh, man, I did not think this through. For bio, I did not think this through. Oh, it two of them would be for like bio and, or maybe all of it would be for bio. Some of it would be for English. I have a separate notebook for math, so that's good. Um, uh, whoops, I did not think this through. <laughs> Whoops, I'm stupid, guys. Okay, so yeah, I got this notebook. Yeah. And yeah, that's the last thing I got from Staples. Now moving on to Walmart. This is the shortest part. Honestly. So every year, the way I study for like tests and stuff is by using flashcards. So I got these neon colored flashcards from Walmart. I got two packs. Um, they were, I believe, a dollar each at the time. Amazing. And to go along with it, I got an index card holder. Oh, shoot. Um, yep, it has tabs and stuff. Second last thing I got were inkjoy pencil pens. Inkjoy pens. They're not pencils, girl. They're pen. I got inkjoy pens from my school. Um, Last week, a week from today, I went to the grade 9 orientation, or the freshman orientation, and they had bought some supplies that they thought they would use for the orientation, but they didn't, so they just gave it away to some of the volunteers. And I had to be, I happened to be a volunteer, and I got Pinkjoy pens. So I didn't have to buy a new set this year. That's called saving money, because you donate your time to the community. Do it like that, girls. Do it like that, guys. Do it like that. Okay, and um, the very last thing I got was this pen. If you are a stationary lover, you know what this pen is. Don't put your screen off. What, what are, are you doing? Recording? Thank you. Please close the door. Please close. Thanks. Thank you. I love her. <laughs> but I got this from the Muji store. Like, I don't understand why there's so much of a hype about these pens. But I like this pen. So, I'm gonna call it my holy grail. It's gonna be my best pen ever when I'm writing assignments on my five star heavyweight reinforced paper. I will be using this. Okay, this pen was $150. I know it's expensive for a pen. One pen? Like, girl, why? Um, but yeah, these pens are, they write so nicely. Like, you won't understand until you actually write with it. Like, my cousin was telling me the other time that she, she got this pen, right? She told me that these pens write so nice. I'm like, it's just a pen, fam. Calm down. And then I, I wrote with it. I'm like, whoa, can I? Can I have this please? Please? Do you want to lend it to me, girl? And, and you know, like, when you lend something to family, you never get it back. So she didn't, of course. But I finally bought myself one. So, 
feel nice about myself just a little just a little bit thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and tell me what when and when did you guys start school or when are you going to start school and also what city state country wherever you live this is my third video ever and i feel like it's going by really well because i'm really excited to film this video um it's been almost a year since I've posted a video, and I think it's just about time. <laughs> Thanks again. Um, have a great day, guys, and bye. Oh, my hands are dry.